it favor like I say. To the vloggers and the bloggers, come out, come talk about our Prime Minister and your wholeness, and the lady from Manchester, Miss Rhoda Crawford. Because the vloggers and the bloggers, come say, and you, and Rhoda, involving an extramarital love affair. It look like Andrew get Bex. Andrew get Bex, ya you now. And same going clamp down on Jamaican citizens' right to free speech. Because I'm said them have ways and means to find people who come on the internet and talk bad things about the government and about him. And people are saying this and that. And them have the technological means for track you down. <laughs> you know, all time people say you have to take bad things, make laugh. And this is one, of, if I don't laugh, I go, if I don't laugh, I piss up myself in here. If me not laugh today. Cause this is shocking. This is very shocking. Very shocking. I am, a supporter of Andrew, you know. Me not no qualms to say me support Andrew Holness and the JLP administration and government. Because to be honest, the PNP is clueless when it comes to the management of the economy. Every time you get the PNP, the economy then crash it. That's just a fact. I'm not being political. I am not a tribalist. I just talk the facts as I see them. And so nobody can say, Ha true. Me a labor right arm, me a PNP or me a this or me a that. Why I'm talking like this? You know, take the politics out tight. We don't want no politics in this year now. I am just talking the truths and rights. Mr. Andrew Holness, we do not live in communist China. Where if you criticize the government, then can lock you up. We do not live in communist Russia. Where if you say anything bad about Vladimir Putin, he kill you. We do not live in Cuba where you can't criticize the government. We live in democratic Jamaica. And you know, the madness started in COVID when a gentleman came online and said some derogatory things about the prime minister. And the police went for the gentleman and videotaped him and make him apologize to Andrew. That was a very, very, very low moment in our history. It was a terrible thing to happen in democratic Jamaica. And at this, we start go downhill. And on a one time, it happened in a COVID. A two time, them go for two people. Because the two people said derogatory things about Andrew. The police find them quick, quick, quick. Like them things say we live in a dictatorship. And to be honest with you, although I'm a supporter of Andrew Holness, the truth is the truth. And when you're wrong, you're wrong. And to be honest with you, Andrew, I'm a big ardent proponent for Andrew Holness. I can tell you that. However, I am also a Jamaican citizen. And Andrew, your approach in governance is dictatorial. We no live on a royalty. We no live on a no king and queen. So if the vloggers and the bloggers them say, you and Rhoda involved and you not like it. If your wife begs and I give you a problem up the on the hill and I argue with you and I nag you because I saw Jamaican one stay then jealous bad. We don't know they jealous so. We don't know they want one man for themselves so. We don't know how it's so important for Jamaican woman for you want one whole man for themselves. So if Juliet Bex, no can take you out power with Massa, me I beg you do. No take you out power with our fundamental rights. The charter of fundamental rights and freedom give you the right to say anything we want to say. As long as it's not defamatory. As long as it's not libelous and slanderous because we have laws for that already. So when you come and come tell we say, we can't get up and talk where we want to talk. Even if we want to tell lie. 
We have a right to tell lie. You know, can't stop people from telling lie. Yeah, come on. You and your minister of information. Talking about it's time for us to start talking the truth. And I'm going to clap down upon people who are telling lie. It's against the law to tell lie. But what the dickens is this? What the hell is this? Am I in La La Land? Me, me living in a nut house? Is a mad house this week now? It is against the law for people to tell lie now. What the? These people look like the little power I get to them head, man. The power I get to them head. Well, let me tell you something, Andrew Oles and whoever else. Who know if he got it? People like me. 119. Me no know no other way than to come and talk my mind and talk the truth. And I mean, you know what I'm clamped down, pan? A people like me. You know what I'm clamped down, pan? Well, let me tell you something. I kill you now, I kill me. Because I value free speech. Black people, our ability to talk, our mind and speak freely should be valued and protected at all costs. And so, Andrew, unless I am personally offended by this dictatorial attitude where you have. This attitude like you want to be a strong man. You want to be the next Vladimir Putin. I don't understand this. This is madness. We should all be shocked. We should all be outraged. That Andrew come in to tell we. That him have the means to track we down if, we, if he says, if we have said things we ain't like. And we are going to do it. Put up on the gallows. You're going to lock me up. You're going to send the police for me. Like how the police go for the two you them in a COVID. I want to go for the other people. No, man. No, 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 no. We can't tolerate this. Me don't know what we are going to do. Because we can't go back for the PMP. They are going to crash the economy. Banjo and the JLP. This dictator thing on the pan. Come on, fight. Come down, master. Come down. I beg you. Now go work. Now go work a god tall. One one nine.